I'm going to be showing how you would go about scanning a triple tray impression uh, with the DSEX scanner from 3D, uh, Shining 3D. So I'm going to name the order number and this is going to be an impression and it's going to have triple tray as the occlusion type. So we can go ahead and select the uh, tooth number, which in this case is number 36, crown, and go ahead and scan. You can see the viewfinder in the upper left and the software tells me that I need to insert the lower impression. So that's actually how I have it oriented already. And I can click next. And now the software is going to begin scanning. And so it shines the light. It'll take pictures for about four or five seconds. Then it'll rotate some, take a few more. And each time it's adding more data to this uh, 3D rendering until we have uh, every aspect scanned and it can generate the STL model. So I'll let this finish. Okay, that's all done. So we could look at this and we could raise up the cut height if we wanted to, cut out some of the extraneous data. Make sure you don't cut off any cusp edges. And you also want to make sure, especially on your prep model, that you aren't cutting off any portions of the margins or the prep that it can see inside it everywhere and it appears that it does. If we needed to, we could add scan data, but this looks great. So I'll click next and now we just need to flip the impression. So it's just very simple, flip it over. Right now the software is uh, generating the 3D rendering of that and now we're ready to do the opposing side. Next. <clears throat> now that completes the scanning on the opposing, so we can uh, add to or remove from the cut height I don't want to cut off any edges. And so that looks great. Next. And so you see the software now stitches those based on the common data between them. At this point, you would probably want to uh, trim your data up. And so we can do that by pushing the shift key and circling that data. If you just push delete, it will get rid of it. Now I could do that again, get rid of some of the excess. Um, areas over here where you wouldn't be able to see in. And now we have the complete bite. Now it's worth mentioning this looks like these are poorly articulated. Uh, this is just an uh, odd impression I happened to grab from my office for demonstration purposes and this patient is in fact not biting down correctly. Uh, this is how, though, the impression is. So this does do an excellent job of articulating. This patient uh, did like they sometimes do and just went into a funky bite. So this is the completed impression. Now we click Next, and everything is completed. If you needed to fill any holes in the mesh that might have been left, you can do that. And then just push uh, Complete. And now the impression scan is done. And you could open the order path to view this. Here is the opposing, if I brought in the other one, you'll see that we have those both now as just a raw STL. Uh, this can be shared with your lab or opened in whatever software you prefer. Uh, so very simple process.